Casual Instrumental Noise Session episode number four. Now based on the sound test I just did before recording this, it sounds like I'm going to sound a little bit more resonant with this microphone and this is a Q10 microphone. And yes, I am in the bathroom once again. The last episode I was using the Lumia 15's microphone. I think the episode before that which would be, uh, what, episode two, I think? Yes, this is four and... Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yes, I kind of got lost here. Well, anyway, I don't know, I can't remember which episode it was where I used the snowball because I know sometimes I'm using the snowball, sometimes I'm using the Lumia, and then sometimes I'm using the Blackberry, but this time I'm using the Blackberry, and I don't remember which episode I was using the snowball, and that's quite a shame. Like, it really is, but whatever. We're not here to discuss microphones. We are here to just, well, make noise. Make noise casually on an instrument because that's what it is. A casual no instrument's a noise session, right? <laughs> Okay, I don't like where this microphone looks like it's moving, or I should say the phone in this case. Yeah, I don't like that, it's moving. Or, am I just being paranoid? Well, I hope not. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, that's all right. right next to a window so that's how I had to just play those upper notes pretty quickly in a staccato sort of manner because if I had just joined them out like say something like this that would have been just asking for trouble and yeah I just did that just for um well thankfully I don't think there's any trouble right now I'm not gonna try and look at the window too much because <laughs> I don't know if anybody's out there right now and if there is somebody out there then well that's why I just have to be very careful with these upper notes and this bathroom because I don't want to run into any trouble aka noise complaints. Alright, so if you watched the last episode, I don't think anybody did. Thank goodness nobody did because it was not very good at all. It was extremely awkward. Why was it awkward? Because I was trying to play Autumn. I just couldn't get it for the life of it. So this time I'm going to do that just again. Play Autumn and this time hopefully get it right. Now, I'm going to set up the papers. You can hear them shuffling. I'm sure some of you love the sound effects of shuffling papers. Don't know. Okay, that sounds weird. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe you do. You know, nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Actually, do I have this set up? It's kind of strange. No, no, okay. This, the first measure should be over here to my right, and then this should be to my left. Yes, that makes more sense because in the English language, obviously, we read from the left to right, do we not? Yeah, the same Arabic. In Arabic, they go from right to left. I don't know why, but uh, it's just what they do. I think it's probably the only name. No. I'm pretty sure Hebrew is like that too, where they go from right to left. I'm not 100% certain on that, so don't quote me. There may be other languages like this, but the only two I can think of on the top of my head would probably be Arabic and Hebrew. Now, Arabic and Hebrew aside, let's play this piece, Autumn from the Four Seasons. Now, when I looked into this, I think this is actually supposed to be the third movement. Obviously, this is a simplified version because the real full version is a lot more complex and a lot longer than this. Let's dive into it and hope we get it right this time. If I don't, well, oh well, I'm just going to keep playing until I get it right. Well, you know, okay. I'll give myself a time frame and maybe like, eh, going to this watch, it says, or I should say the quarter. I'm about four minutes into it. So here we go. <laughs> Perfect. 
Well, actually, the reason why I got nearly perfect is because I think it was yesterday I did actually practice a couple times. So, like, you know what? Based on last session, that was way too ridiculous because I haven't played this piece in such a long time. But still, for somebody who has been, who does occasionally practice, like, I, 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 there's no reason I should play that bad. Like, whether it's a live session or casually, like, I could have done better than that. Like, I just had to read the notes a little bit more carefully and not just so carelessly. So, because I did that, I practiced a couple days in advance. Not that I'm terribly worried about it being perfect, because I mean, that still wasn't perfect. It was, I think, an off note here and there and some intonation, but at least for the most part, it was pretty good. So, okay. Now, let's see. Let's play having the Okay, I know not, it's not so much casual at this point. Well, actually, it's still casual, because obviously I'm, like, talking about it and whatever. So, whether I'm playing scene music or not, that's part of it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, there's been better attempts than this, but at the same time, I don't think this one was the worst. There are certain parts where you're supposed to go back to a certain measure, and then once you get to a certain point, you don't play a certain measure. And there's supposed to be a term for this, I can't remember from the top of my head. And uh, yeah, I could have done that a little bit better. I really could have. Oh well. Moving on. Okay, what else should I play? Yeah, I know it hasn't been very casual. I'll do some more casual stuff, but right now I just kind of feel like I'm doing sheet music because I'm just in a, I guess, a sheet music mood. Okay, I should pay attention to the key signature. Oh, there's B flat, so... Okay, so one of the measures is going to count to be exact 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, yeah, so it was measure 10 in this piece where I played the Bs, or in this case, this would be B4 as, no, B flat 4 as just B4. And that's why it sounded so strange. Okay, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Actually, I'm pretty sure you did notice it. I'm pointing it out. I feel like I said I'm way too many times there. <laughs> No, seriously. Like I can't say and way too much sometimes. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Really?
think that came out kind of right. All right. So I think anything more, I should have seen more cows at this point. Definitely have seen more cows at this point, yeah. Oh yeah, you want know you know what else is also nice about this session this time? This thing isn't clogging up so much, and I'm really, really happy about it. Because the last time, not only was I playing very miserable, but this thing was clogging up way too much. But this time, it looks like it's just overall better, and I'm really happy about that. For real. <laughs> So as you can tell there, I'm trying to jump octaves here from C5, C6, C sharp 6, um, no, C, sorry, I meant to say C, I don't even know what I'm saying here. Anyways. C sharp 5 to C sharp 6, yeah, that's what I was supposed to say from the last time, but my brain was a, in a bit of a knot. Okay. Right, so I think I'll call it quits right there. Did you like this musical noise session? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, read your blog for information, and follow me on Twitter if you're interested in knowing what I'm up to. Okay, I think I sound kind of off there, but whatever. Out!